at the forefront of that strategy is Rania Mashat, Egypt's Minister of International Cooperation. I sat down with her to find out what Egypt's plan is going forward. I want to start with where Egypt stands right now economically. We have seen you know, rise in inflation, we're worried about grain, we're concerned about the cost of fuel, but at the same time that you're experiencing the short-term pain, you have to maintain focus on the long term. How do you balance out this dilemma? Since 2014, Egypt invested in silos for wheat storage. We did not have that before. Also uh, invested in increasing agriculture land and wheat was part of that. So when this crisis happened, uh, there was storage capacity and also there was 50% of our local consumption from local production. So this is uh, uh, when, uh, when a country has a vision, uh, it can weather different shocks. It can create that resilience. All of these that you mentioned require immense funding, right? And, and during this time where you see you know, economic pain and uncertainty, how do you ensure that there's always fiscal space? to fund these types of mega projects. So you're inviting uh, FDI, you're inviting absolutely. companies to come and invest. Exactly. The energy projects seem to be quite exciting. Do you think Egypt is based in, sort of in a very different um, position um, to be able to attract this kind of money? So a few, uh, a few important pointers. When we, when we look at countries trying to move forward on their development uh, agendas, of course, budget provides key uh, resource but also private sector investments are important and also international partnerships with multinational development banks and development partners. Uh, so there are different types of financing. When it comes to entrepreneurship and innovation, Mashat says Egypt's future is looking bright. The information and technology sector is robust, clocking in higher growth than the country's GDP. Between 2020 and 2021, the sector grew 16% with $3 billion in investment. Between 2019 and 2020, the sector rose by 15.2%. So we have a, a demographic which is quite uh, impressive. 60% of the population below the age of 30. Innovation and creativity uh, exist. Access to digital space is there. And therefore, uh, what we've seen over the past few years, a very vibrant and developing uh, startup scene. While there are many challenges, there is overall optimism. And leaning into that is the Egyptian government, who are remaining laser-focused on growth sectors during times of massive uncertainty. The global environment is evolving and it's been very challenging for everyone. But what we've seen most recently is a reduction in fuel prices and food prices, which is creating some relief. Something else which is quite important is we're moving ahead on different uh, structural reforms that will open up uh, also investing opportunities for sectors. So Egypt, I think, over the years has shown a lot of resilience and that is something that uh, we feel, despite hiccups, there is uh, a medium to long-term trajectory that we're very confident about.